Good morning from InterSolar Europe. I'd like to introduce you to SMA's utility power system. The utility power system is our utility scale portfolio from DC to AC, including plant control and our world-renowned services organization wrapping the entire system. SMA's utility power system consists of DC solutions, the medium voltage power block, uh, the plant controller, and our services and project management uh, services as well, wrapping your project. As the essential components of SMA's utility power system, I'd like to walk you through the medium voltage block. And we'll start with the inverter and work our way through to the medium voltage switchgear. Okay, so we will start with where the DC feeders enter the inverter and we'll walk around to the AC side of the machine. We'll talk about some of the essential features and functions of the machine and then end up on the medium voltage transformer and switchgear. So first we have the DC connection area, a very spacious and simple area for you to connect your DC feeders coming from the combiner boxes. From the connection area, we run into the fused input area of the machine. And it's probably important to point out that this machine has access from three sides. We have first a DC side, we have the human interface side of the machine, and on the opposite side is the AC output portion of the machine. So again, following the power from the DC connection area, we come to the fused inputs, and also in this cabinet are three load brake switches located high in the cabinet, which feed the power stacks. The power stacks are on the other side of the machine, and I'll step you through that side of the machine later in the video. On the end of the machine, we have the human machine interface. We have AC, DC, housekeeping, and control power disconnecting means. And we have a customer sandbox, if you will. This is uh, an empty space in the machine where we provide you power, and communications connections where you can install literally any gear that you might need project specifically that in the past may have been located external to the inverter. Now we can bring this into the inverter, simplifying your installation costs and time and really reducing your capex on the project. Also shown here on the machine, this is the exhaust from the machine. So the the cooling concept with the new inverter remains the same as our previous CP series of inverters. This is the OptiCool precision air cooling approach to uh, a central inverter. We intake air on the side of the machine here across the top, similar to our CP series. Uh, instead of exhausting out the back, because this is a three side access machine, we exhaust here on the side. Coming to the AC side of the inverter, we have, as you can see, the air intake for the Precision Air OptiCool system. We have, in this cabinet, the stacks themselves, the DC bus capacitors, the sine wave filter, and associated AC gear. Following the power, we come down to this area of the cabinet that you can see removes separately. Here is the AC circuit breaker. Uh, this is a motorized breaker. You saw the disconnect for that on the end of the machine, fully compliant to NEC 2014 requirements for remote disconnection. And uh, the output then is here on these bus bars. You can imagine at this power class, we run very high currents, and therefore a cabled output connection is really not practical, not cost effective. And so we have a flexible bus shown here. Uh, on the North American version of this setup, you would see a, a little different arrangement, but still a bus connection to the low voltage side of the medium voltage transformer. So that's a high level overview of the components of the inverter. Now let's touch on a few highlights of this new machine. The machine itself has a modular stack arrangement. We start these sequentially throughout the day. So we operate in the sweet spot of the efficiency of each stack, and then every day, we start up in a different order to maximize the lifetime of those components. Additionally, I'd like to touch on some of the integration available in this machine. Things that were normally outside of the inverter, maybe mounted on a structural rack and cabled from the inverter, 
we have now brought into the machine itself, reducing your install costs, accelerating your speed of construction, and so on. Some of those features include DC side disconnecting, compliant with NEC 2011 and 2014 requirements. We include housekeeping power. This is what we refer to uh, for, say, 120 volt low voltage loads that you would typically have uh, a separate control power auxiliary transformer mounted outside the machine and connected with overcurrent protective devices and so on is now in the machine, reducing again your installation and integration costs. Moving from the inverter to the medium voltage part of the system, we have of course the step up transformer. This is an IEC style transformer that you see behind me. However, we do also have North American versions. Also shown here is an oil containment system beneath the transformer. This holds all of the mineral oil or biodegradable fluid. We offer both. And behind me is the medium voltage switch gear. Uh, on this IEC machine, this is a, a separate enclosed switch gear. However, on the ANSI version of the system, we have a traditional ANSI pad mount style transformer where the medium voltage switch is actually under oil. Uh, this provides better cooling and lower costs. SMA's utility power system. At the core of the system, the medium voltage block. The medium voltage block is available in 1000 volt DC and 1500 volt DC variants. It's available in power classes up to 2.5 megawatts, and it's available in both IEC and ANSI versions so we can support your projects in any location on the globe. The most appropriate portfolio of products for your projects, no matter where they're located.